Three, two, one, playback. Hey guys, so a few months ago, 20th Century Fox sent me an email asking if I'd like to travel to New Zealand to visit Weta, the special effects company responsible for some of the biggest and best movies out there, from Avatar to Lord of the Rings and most superhero flicks. Anyway, they were doing some promotional material for their new movie, War for the Planet of the Apes, and they wanted to send a few YouTubers to see the behind the scenes magic that make these movies come to life. A free trip to New Zealand and I get to see how movies are made? Needless to say, I said yes, and I've got a plane to catch. Hey guys, so I just landed in New Zealand. Uh, it's been about 30 hours transit since I took off in Canada. I'm actually feeling pretty good. I'm surprised I'm not very jet lagged. Hi, could I order some breakfast? Breakfast meal with a uh, white oat croissant, a latte. All right, anyways, I actually gotta get going now. So, see you guys in the motion cap suit. These are one watt LEDs, oh, okay, yeah. so they punch a lot of light and we're strobing them so they're in time with the shutter of the camera. Uh, okay. So we're actually overpowering them so we can get more, more juice out of them. Gotcha. We'll start with a scale, okay. like fit the model to, to your size so we can uh, we can track you live. Okay. And then uh, once we get the scale done, we'll do a bit of a dance, so you know to get all the kind of uh, uh, to get all the kind of marker distances and all the relation. Cool. And then straight back, uh, just to come out here, a little bit forward to, towards me. Yeah, great. That's perfect. And look straight ahead, straight back. Go for Lindsay. All right, he's just taking a snapshot. You got it? Yeah. All right, cool, relax. So you can have a look there. Uh, we can get uh, get all the tracking done. So kind of similar pose, just uh, same, same. So we'll just pop you back in there. And move your head. Okay, left, right, up, down. Push it forward, backward. Pull, shoulders. So that's basically you. So we uh, we've taken that scene that we um, that you would have seen in the movie last night yeah. with Caesar coming through the trench post battle. There'll yeah. be apes wounded and uh, dealing with each other on, on either side, yeah. and um, Caesar will be the camera, or rather the camera will be Caesar. Okay. So we'll see um, uh, from the camera's point of view. We'll see the apes open up, 
and they'll review you down at the, uh, the end of the track. Right. And you'll notice Caesar. Um, and this is, this is part of the process where it can be a, a little bit uh, collaborative. If you... And roll things. Rolling. Okay. And James, notice Caesar. Got yeah, good one, Jen. That's good. That's okay. That's fine. So we like we didn't. Like, like, what would we? You saying we like would separate you out? Like, yeah, how does yeah, that yeah. Work? Like, where, where, like, your arms are going through the other guy. Yeah, yeah exactly. We, we'd make little adjustments. Like, okay, cool. Or like the pull the arm back a little bit, or just just tweak you apart a little bit. Um, Fix the double arm thing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the crossed elbows. Yeah, so like that sort of thing where your your arms are going through his. Yeah. We'd uh, we'd end up tidying all that up. Cool. Yeah. So like, how long will that take to um, fix and finish? So yeah, it can, I mean, it really depends on the shot, but it could be anywhere from a couple of days to uh, a few weeks. Uh, yeah. So what do you think? Cool. Uh, anything else you want to try? Or are you feeling good about that? Yeah, I think that's good. Awesome. All right. Yeah. Great. Thanks, James. Right. Thank you. Nice job. <laughs>
to a pub of Caesar. Yep. All right, so cool. thank you very much. Thank that you. awesome. Cheers. Okay. okay, we'll get this off. All right. Hi, I'm James. Dennis. Nice to meet you. Um, so yeah, here we are. This is uh, Maya, and this is uh, a scene set up to keyframe uh, facial performance of Bad Ape and using Steve Zahn as a uh, reference of the performance. Okay. Um, so here, I'm just gonna scoot over to the first frame. And uh, if you're used, used to uh, editing software, it's kind of very similar where um, yeah. you can scrub the timeline time line, and you can see where you are in time in the video. So this is um, about 68 frames, I think. And so just, just a little under three seconds. Yeah. So we're gonna start off on the first frame here. And um, you probably heard Dan talking about how um, we use a jaw animation, we layer it up. Or we, or take, yeah, take start with a jaw and then right. add so on everything from there. That's how we actually normally do it. But here, just to speed things up, we're just gonna find a single pose and try to mimic it. Okay. Okay. So right. from here, um, I'll give you some pointers. Yeah, so, it's um, like left browse up. Yeah, so we can go to the browse. Wow, so many things. So if you don't want to use this, you can definitely use this over oh, here okay. to set up for you. Alright. That's labeled Browns. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so yeah, out of browse up a bit more, yeah. I think. Yeah. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. You want to see your animation? <laughs> You're gonna sure. play right here. Yep, you got three <laughs> frames. <laughs> oh, you did too. <laughs> that's so cool. All right, that's awesome. Thanks, Dennis. Thank you, James. <laughs> Part of the trip also allowed me to interview some of the stars from the movie, as well as the amazing people behind the special effects. James Hobson from Hacksmith. Hello. 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 Nice to meet you. How are you, sir? I'm doing great. How are you? Hey, James. Hi there. Nice to meet you. Good to see you. Big fan. Hi, Matt. How are you? James Hobson. Oh, nice to meet you. Hi, James. How are you? Not too bad. How are you? Good. Good. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome, man. Thank you very much. Nice to talk to you. Thank you, James. pleasure. Thank you. All right. Thanks, bro. I even got to tell a few of them about the channel. Yeah, I saw that on the list. I was like, what's the hacks, man? So what we do is that we actually try and take movie technology, that's usually CGI, and try and make real working prototypes. Right. And we do this to inspire youth into engineering and science fields. Oh, wow, that sounds great. So for example, we've done lots of Batman gadgets, Captain America's shield, and even try and fly like Iron Man. Oh, wow, that's cool. Though I don't think Matt Reeves is going to be calling me back anytime soon to provide real working props for the next Batman movie. I'm really excited to see what you do with the Batman. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. And obviously, if you need some back gadgets, let me know. All right, cool. <laughs> to see those interviews in their entirety, you're gonna have to head over to our vlog channel. You can click the link right there or in the description below. There's also some other behind the scenes content that we didn't put in this video. As for the movie itself, I got to see it twice now. First time in Peter Jackson's private cinema, which is awesome. And I gotta say, it's a really good movie. And if you guys are a fan of the franchise, you should totally check it out. It's coming to theaters July 14th. And a big thank you to 20th Century Fox for sending me on this awesome learning experience learning about how those movies are actually made and how the CGI is actually done. And you never know, we might even use some of those techniques ourselves. Cyanobalin. 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 It's just vitamin B12.